There's a lot of good jokes in this one. <laughs> um, this is Amphibia. This is episode 18B, Combat Camp. Yeah, that's pretty much what it is, this one, Combat Camp. Um, so apparently, so it all starts when Hop Hop drops the kids off at this daycare tower-ish. Yeah, I, they really don't fully explain. Like, he's like, oh, I heard about this place, and I figured best to, you know, best to drop you guys off here while I go to the farmer's convention. <laughs> so freaking, you know, Hop Hop basically leaves Sprig, Polly, and Anne here at this, like, this daycare, but then they find out it's not a daycare, it's secretly a combat camp. Held by, I know they call him something, I know they, uh, um, Antonio, Antonio, or something like that, but it, honestly, it, it, I just saw a freaking Inigo Montoya the whole time, <laughs> that's all I saw of that, I, just, I couldn't think of anything else for the whole episode, just like, that's Inigo Montoya, that's Inigo Montoya. I mean, come on, though. I mean, the way he dresses, the hair, literally, it's freaking Aniko Montoya. Uh, I'm, I mean, I'm glad he didn't, like, honestly, I was waiting for that, like, the, the you killed my father, prepare to die, or something in that, or something in that realm, like, you, like, you destroyed my, you destroyed my phone, prepare to die, or something like that, but, yeah, so, this whole thing is a combat camp, and, Anne, however, isn't excited because she overall hates teachers, and we get a clip it, and we get a snippet of why that is. You know, Anne really doesn't take school seriously, and thus she doesn't like teachers because teachers are always trying to, you know, do your work, do your work, do your work. You know, because <laughs> because they want all the students to succeed, and that's kind of. Part of the episode is and re coming to realization that the but the reason why teachers are kind of tough on her is because they know that she has potential to be something better, greater. And at first, Anne doesn't see that, and we get to see the combat that training that everyone goes through. Um, Polly is the explosives expert because she has, and there's these exploding mushrooms. Pretty sure they're. They're blue, and I'm pretty sure they have skull and crossbones on them. I'm not, or not 100% certain, but I just know that every time she throws one, there's an explosion. <laughs> so she's the explosive. She's the explosive specialist. Um, Sprig uses different. Sprig ha uses size, and he does. He does some work. He does some good. I mean, I just remember Polly just using explosive. The biggest one is Anne, though. Like after. Like, at first, like I said, training isn't going Anne's way because everything she does doesn't seem to... She's not giving 100% effort, and in turn, the teacher always is trying to, like, encourage her, but, of course, be more hard. And so, eventually, you know, and, like, and they do have that talk where Anne's like, why are you so hard on me? And he's like, well, because I know you can do better. You, can, I, see good, I see potential. I see greatness. You just have to do it. You know, so and realizes, yeah, maybe the whole point of why teachers are so hard for me is because of that. And so the big thing is she gets her sword. And I say gets her sword because I've seen I've seen so I've seen clips of I've seen clips of on YouTube. Well, I haven't seen clips. I've seen photos of Anne with the sword. And based off of this one, this is the sword. And. Um, and I thought it was, I mean, it's a cool sword, don't get me wrong, that's a, it's a really cool sword, I like the shine, I like the blue glow it has, and it kind of reminds me of, uh, Link's sword from freaking, uh, you know, Legend of Zelda, obviously it's not the spot on sword, but it's still a pretty cool sword, and everything seems to be going well, but then we get the final exam, which, um, uh, I feel um, the second he started explaining it, I'm like, oh, no, we're doing this. <laughs> and, um, so the final exam is they have to infiltrate a train, they have to hijack a train and steal a gem. 
Yeah, tell me that's not us. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so, it's freaking Polly, like, they're like, so, are we to agree that this is actually a heist? And, and being, you know, blinded by the fact that she finally is getting actual encouragement <laughs> once in her life. She's blinded by the fact, by this, so they go along with the plan. Um, <laughs> I, lo I love freaking Sprig in this one. Um, he... He, he plays the distraction, like, so he causes a, diver a distraction for the train, for the conductor and the crew. Yeah, and so, um, he play he's kind of like Tiny Tim, so Tiny Sprig in this case, you know, he's, he's pretending, he's, he's walking across, he's walking across the freaking, um, the, the tracks, and so they have to stop, they help him, and then they have to, but then Sprig, um, comes in, and, you know, Sprig then, like, it's like, He's like, I think I hurt my leg. And, you know, the, the, the crew comes down and helps him. Like, wait a minute, I don't think this leg's broken. And then Sprig jumps on the train with Ann and Polly. And, yeah, that's pretty. Um, they get on. And if, and um, cool thing was the train was heading to Newtopia, which, um, obviously, another hint that this is most likely going to be a location we're going to be visiting sooner or later. Probably once the mountain pass is clear, that's where the family will be heading because if I had to assume one of the better ways to find a way to figure out how to get Anne back home it would be in Newtopia so yeah so, <laughs> so obviously so they get they get the jewel and they find out that this was all set up because Anigo Montoya I'm sorry I know he has a name but I it's freaking Anigo Montoya I mean obviously not the good Inigo Montoya, this is like a twisted bad version. <laughs> because um, he says like, what's the first rule? What was the first rule that I taught you? Never trust anyone. Yep. <laughs> but he's... I thought I thought he was going to like reveal that everything he gave him are actually like fakes and stuff and that this whole thing. But then I was thinking like, well, if, he, if they were fakes, how the heck would they have pulled this off? So really this kind of his plan was kind of like a double-edged sword because he lured the kid he basically tricked the kids into stealing this gem and he locked them into the train carts that they were that the freight or the yeah the freight cart or the whatever the money or the money cart or maybe i don't know freaking whatever the vault that the gem was in and he locks them in but he didn't take their weapons as more specifically he didn't take polly's exploding mushrooms so they easily break out because polly because and like polly you got any more mushrooms and polly just whips like a bunch <laughs> so and 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 breaks and polly and sprig they fight and ego um sprig and polly get their get pretty much butts handed to them so it's up to Anne. at first it doesn't seem like she is going to win but then she outsmarts him because you know like like i said it's kind of a double-edged sword actually teaching kids how to fight because Anne was able to outsmart him by using what she was taught and so they beat him they win and yeah you know, and they explain the turn they you know they capture him and then the, the 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 authorities are like this guy's been running scams like this for who knows how long <laughs> such a mess and it's just like and, and he's like hey it comes it's easy <laughs> so yeah um but um he does like give and so like even though he gets arrested he does like tell and he's like hey i wasn't kidding about you actually having potential and he's like i meant that and it's like it's a nice little like sorry i mean yeah who knows <laughs> Honestly, I hope we see him again. I feel like he could turn get turn a new leaf. I mean, he probably will if we're being honest. Um, but for now, I'm glad. I'm. I mean, I like this episode. I thought it was fun. Oh, and it all ends with them and Polly and Sprig are beaten up, and they go back to the tower and they sit there waiting for Hop Hop, and Hop Hop comes back, and he he's just beaten up as well, and. Bessie's beaten up as well, so it's like, where were they? <laughs> and they're just, they're just looking at each other, it's like, so, 
how 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 was your thing uh, it was fine nothing crazy happened yeah we didn't do a train heist or anything that's good that's good glad we didn't get two advent glad we didn't have two wacky adventures that was the best joke in the whole episode it was like at the beginning like they were like i you know hop hop was how about was making a joke like when he was jumping him at the daycare he's like it feels like we're always going on, it feels like we're going on two adventures every week <laughs> so i and again i like jokes like that i like the fourth wall jo jokes and so right they and they come and that comes back with this it's like god we didn't have two adventures this week <laughs> when we saw what the kids did we didn't see what hot bob did and a part of me I feel like this is going to be like that's going to be a throwaway joke like we're never we're never going to see what Hop Hop did but a part of me hopes maybe it has something to do with and and like her, her calamity box and like it's I'm probably thinking I'm probably thinking way too hard about this it's probably just a throwaway joke but again this is you don't know with this show because you think you got how it's gonna go and then they throw something at you they throw something at you and i like and i like shows that do that not saying that i mean okay well i feel like every time i talk about the show i have to talk about the owl house because again it's like the freaking sister it's the sister series of this i'm really gonna have to do a compare and contrast now um Oh yeah, by the way, did you guys see that the Owl House Season 2 is going to come out sometime in May? What's, fu what's, what's funny about that is if I'm, if I'm, if I, if everything goes smoothly for he me here in college, I'm going to be back home before the Owl House Season 2 airs. But at the same time, I'll still be here when Amphibio Season 2 has their finale, so... Um, speaking of which, in order to stay on par, I don't want to take a break. Um, so I'm going to take a break. I'm going to take, so, um, the season two, the season one finale will be up on Friday. So after that, I'm going to take about a week off just so I can, one, one, catch up, catch my breath and focus and focus on, you know, like my fi focus on my finals that are going to be coming up in the next month. But at the same time, um, you know, because there's only 20, it's 20 episodes each season. And if I can, if I continue doing this, then I'll have like, I'll have like th two or three episodes left, which I don't want to like wait for those. I actually just want to do all those in one go. So I'm going to do season two in one, like in, a, in 20 straight days. So the season two so the season one finale that's gonna come out this friday will be my last vlog video for about a week week a little over a week but yeah yeah okay so <laughs> but yeah like i said um really like this episode i'm glad to see that and sprig and polly got some combat training i have a feeling that's gonna come into play rather soon <laughs> so yeah all right hope you guys enjoyed that and see you in the next one